Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to part 4 of our mini tutorial series for Surviving Mars. In the last episode we got our infrastructure set up so that we can start looking at getting some humans down here. First of all I'm going to take a brief look at research though because it's just popped up. We've just discovered another anomaly uh, which was a breakthrough. Uh, and it gives a great idea to show research. So if you click the research button, which is, by the way, down here, uh, you'll see the different branches of research. We have biotech, which is mostly sort of food, drink, water, and uh, oxygen, things like that. Engineering, this can be, so far, I've noticed all sorts, but mostly to do with the uh, secondary tier of resources, things like polymers and, uh, and, all, uh, and electronics and things like that. Uh, robotics, these seem to handle your RCs so and your drones, so it'll speed them up, uh, make more of them, make them work faster, things like that. Uh, physics, again, it could be all sorts of different things. Uh, social is mostly about getting people to the planet and also increasing research points and things like that. And then occasionally you'll find a breakthrough out on the on the, uh, on the planet. And basically, this, this is a, a bonus thing that comes out of nowhere. Uh, this one here we found allows drones prefabs to be constructed in the drone assembler using metals in instead of electronics, basically makes it much, much cheaper to create drones, which is great. Uh, some of them will be open depending on the options you chose at the very beginning of the game. In this case, we have our CO2 jet propulsion already uh, researched, which is great. Otherwise, you'd be able to set up five things in your research queue. You always want this research queue full because occasionally you will get bonus research points. You'll get, you'll pick up 2,000 points or something like that from an anomaly. And uh, if there's nothing in the research queue, you're going to lose those points. So make sure that this is constantly filled okay so here we're going to get the water reclamation set, uh, sorted it's going to reduce the uh, the usage of water in the dome we're about to build um, let's also get the uh, research points increased by the sponsor that's a good thing so we've got more research coming in we'll build that one then the drone prefab uh, be made out of metal uh, 100 sol uh, 100 research per day for each explorer that's a great thing as well we want to really increase this research uh, number per day coming in here and then finally um polymer factory yeah we're going to need all the factories eventually rather than keep bringing stuff from earth so then they'll all get worked through and um, you can if you want to outsource stuff 200 million uh, will contribute a thousand uh, over the next five souls if you really need that extra if you're really waiting for something you can do that But otherwise just make sure you've always got five things here, and they'll just keep working through themselves Okay, great. So now we've got that uh, our Liberty one is ready to take off That's because uh, we've selected the uh, synthesized fuel one so we can send this one back uh, but also we have, if we click down here, we have four more rockets available as well. So we haven't really got to worry too much. Depending on how many rockets you've got available, you might have to wait to send one back or bring another one, blah, blah, blah. We still have a bit of work to do before we actually get humans. Basically, we're going to build a dome, a basic dome. And we're going to place this down over here. The reason why I've picked here is because it's right in between a, uh, a metal... Uh, deposit and also a rare metal deposit. Rare metals are going to be used for generating cash. Metals are basically uh, these ones that we find on the ground. That, that's not actually, that's just a rock. Uh, these ones that we find on the ground. No, that's a rock as well. Uh, I think we've collected them all, which means we really do need this. Okay, so the, the metals we find on the ground. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. There's some, those ones. Um, but much, much more of them. There, there's 14 there to pick up. Over here, there is a thousand and twenty-four. All right, so basically, we need this relatively soon, as we're going to be really short for metal. And this obviously is going to start bringing some cash in. The setup we've got here, we don't desperately need cash, but it is going to be something we want to look at. Okay, so we're going to build our basic dome, um, and we're going to place it down here. I think. Um, yeah, let's have it like so. That's pretty good. Uh, this is well within the remit of these drones, so they'll all wander around. We're going to speed it up. They'll go and grab what they need. Pretty simple materials, concrete, metals, and polymers. Well, they need 10 polymers, and we only have 7. So we are going to actually need to get another um, drone, here, uh, another ship here with some stuff. All right, so oh, we've got a meteor coming in. It's a bit close, but not worryingly. <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is send you off. Uh, launch. Go, go, go. Whenever you're ready, folks. There we go. Milestone achieved. Uh, we're going to go and grab some stuff, all right? So we click here, and we're going to select cargo rocket, and we'll have a few drones, and we're going to have some metal for now because we're a little low on those. 15 will do, uh, but then really polymers, uh, machine parts, whoops, 
electronics. This is all the stuff we really need at the moment. Um, metals, get a few more drones. 15,000 we've got. Maybe a prefab building. Um, let's get a... Uh, we don't really need to worry about fuel here because the places make their own. Electronics factory, machine parts factory. Um, let's go for machine parts factory. There we go. Still got 5,000 capacity. Wow, okay, let's just get some more of these then. Um, all right, good. Actually, let's not tear machine parts because we're going to be building those electronics. Good. Okay, uh, launch. Now, they obviously take a little while to get here because they're coming all the way from uh, from home to get some ours. So when that gets here, we'll, uh, uh, we'll jump back. So here's an interesting thing, actually, while we're waiting for the ship to come in here. Um, it's that one, actually, the Courage. Uh, the uh, the drones that were attached to that ship stay on the planet. We don't lose them. And they'll go to the nearest commander that they can find. Now, we have the rover here that's currently charging up by sitting on the wire. Okay? And uh, he's doing a great job. And we've got... Um, they Some of them come over, but we've actually got too many because they can only store eight, you see. So now we've got a few of these ones here. And they're basically... They, they can't do anything. They haven't got a commander. So we actually do have a drone command in place which is uh, here, Drone Hub. So we're going to put this down, and we're pretty much going to put it where the ship lands so that we haven't got to worry about losing uh, drone usage when uh, when the, the ship clears off. Okay, so we're going to try and put it down so it covers the most grounds. Too far from a working drone commander, I know, but don't worry about it. So now we'll bring you over here just for a quick moment. Uh, you'll see all of this loses drones now because this guy is, has come out of the way. Um, but what we'll do, we're just going to get this thing put down. Once it's put down, we'll move back again. There you go. And one thing you can actually do is move drones over to that, which we will do. So let's first of all get you uh, back over here. There we go. Good stuff. And this guy's got four drones on him, that's all. Uh, but we don't have any power just yet, so let's sort some power out to him with the cables. See if we can go off here and be really super neat. Ooh, eh, not too bad. Okay. And we're going to have to carry you over just a little. There you go. So you cover all the pipe there, all the wire even. Uh, and the wire will get built. So sometimes it does require this little bit of micromanagement to get your drones sorted. But in a second, once this is powered up, our drones are going to burst into action. And there you go. Okay. So what we're going to do is bring you back over here for a little. And we're going to move some of your drones off you back onto this one that covers the full area. Okay. So to do that, we're going to click on the drones themselves. We're going to slow time down because they're speedy little sods. Uh, and you are going to click here, reassign to that one okay and then we'll come back here you reassign i would love a way to be able to do this in bulk but as far as i know there isn't a way to do it okay it shouldn't actually change what they're doing too much because uh, they're all well within the space and now we'll see that this guy has 10 drones and this one is back down to four. Four for uh, for one of these little dudes i think is perfectly acceptable and uh, these drones because they're covered in this huge area They'll carry on doing what they want to do. Uh, Courage One is ready to land. So we're going to come and land you. We'll, we'll keep you roughly the same spot you were before. So we'll bring that down. And that will give us the polymers and everything we need for our dome. Okay, our dome is built. And it's going to tell me we've got no oxygen, water, or power. And we do. It's just not getting here. Okay, so first things first, we've got to get some of our, uh, our gear over to it. All right. So to do that, we're going to carry some power cables over. Around the outside of the dome, you'll see three points that are for oxygen, water, and power. And then three points here. They're basically gates. They're going to let people in. So we're going to go from this one and basically bring you up that way, which is good. So there's the power. And then um, we're going to... Why aren't you going to get built? Oh, they are. They're coming over. That's good. Oh, these guys are just sort of sitting around then. Uh, and then we'll also get some life support pipes on the go. So from here... Oh, no. Let's try and get the pattern the same. Yep. There we go. Just so it's neat. And then you come all the way down to this other pipe here. And once they're built, we'll now have... Um, uh, so power is there now, you'll see, and then oxygen and water. 
So once you've got your dome set up, if you click inside it, the dome will come down. You'll be able to see what's going on and it'll tell you what the uh, the average of the people inside it are their health their sanity their comfort and their morale and it's also telling you what it's going to be using so a dome with nothing else going on uh, uses 15 power and oxygen and water and, uh, and that's it okay and it also has a maintenance fee which is just concrete so it's not really too much to worry about okay you can move people here you can move people out of it you can move people into different living quarters and things like that but for now we're going to set up a very basic dome okay so we're going to go into here to uh, dome services uh, sorry into dome homes and education so far you'll start off with just one home there are different versions later on but we're going to start with living quarters here and we're going to place those down and you'll see that you can basically fit six uh, of uh, anything this size in so we're just going to build one to start off with because that will hold i think it's 24 people um and uh, a ship at a time will bring 12 people so one of these is more than enough to get started there are different skins there are different you can rotate them to make them look all different uh, but just but for now we're just going to place it down to show you how it works and then we're going to put some other uh, facilities as well I'm not going to worry about stuff for kids like playgrounds and schools right now but the research lab is quite useful uh, you can also look at putting in stuff to make people a bit happier like bars and things like that we're going to go for the stuff that is kind of needed one of those is the infirmary uh, which will make people healthy you also need one of these if you want to give birth to uh to uh, to martians basically they're going to be martians aren't they let's be honest so we're going to put an infirmary down the other thing we're going to put down is a security station uh, because we want um you know people to be safe so we're going to put that down as well and um like i said there's all different options water reclamation system we've got that unlocked from our research if you put that in the middle there that's what we call a spire structure i think uh, dome spires yeah again there's various different ones you can have for increasing safety increasing uh, leisure and things like that but we're going to put the water one down all this will get thrown up pretty quick and uh, they'll start telling us that they don't work and that's obviously because we don't have people in them so we're going to get like get some people in them now we have a security we have an infirmary so we're going to be looking for medics and officers okay so we're going to click down here to our ship and we're going to click passenger rocket for something a bit different and this time we can uh, kind of select the people who are going to come uh, to the uh, the planet at the moment there are 168 people who fit the criteria we're looking for and of those 168 it will randomly pick 12 of them to bring them up to Raz. we have 14 is the living quarters there you go so at the moment we're doing good age group uh, we can choose for between twile child up to senior we don't want any seniors you know because unfortunately they're too old to work nothing against them but there's no point in bringing them here if they grow up here to become senior that's great but you're not going to be wanting to bring seniors with you uh, middle-aged uh, i'm actually gonna, just going to go for adult and youth youth can actually work children uh, that can't so we're going to click no adult uh, no child no middle age no seniors and you see as we start being picky here this matching con list will come down you want to make sure that that number stays above whatever the capacity is because otherwise you're going to be bringing a uh, a rocket to the planet that's half full all right so we're going to get back on there regarding age specializations we really need uh security and uh medics because those are the two buildings we've got staffed now the buildings will get staffed by anyone uh, but if they have the right specialization they will run the building better so we're not going to say no to any of these you know they can come and be scientists and engineers or whatever but we really really would like security guards and medics okay so we're going to hit back sex you can choose male female or people who uh, who have a non-binary gender i can't understand why you would choose any difference other than you know making sure you've got a bit of both for reproduction uh, so i'll click that there perks um all different perks here uh, to select people so they can celebrities generates funding if they're on the colony compose people means they'd lose less sanity sexy increases birth rate i'm not sure about that one i've watched jeremy kyle the ones with the loads of kids they ain't sexy but anyway there's no real reason to have people without perks so we're just going to click to all of those flaws now really you can be picky and say Do you know what no flaws it's going to drop your matching matching con list right down but to be honest with you to start off with when you can only bring 12 that's fine by me uh, again if you want to make the game interesting for yourself make it a bit more of a challenge you can bring uh, you know loads of loners here lose comfort if they live with people over third you know more than 30 people things like that you know it's all good fun 
And the last one is Quirks. A couple of random things here. Guru. If they're a Guru or they were randomly spread the other traits that they have to other people. Yeah, that could be fun. Uh, tourists, they don't work and they leave after a little while. Um, but if they decide to stay, their comfort is high. Again, no real. I can't understand why you would have that other than making the game difficult for yourself. And vegans, they don't eat meat, which is fine because most of the stuff we're going to grow is uh, farms. Okay, we've selected. And of the 40 odd people that were left that fit, uh, the game is going to select 12 of them and bring them down to the planet. We have to wait a little while for them to get here though. I just thought while we're waiting, we're actually going to put another building down inside the dome, and that is the grocer, uh, because they quite like getting their food from a grocer, and that's going to be no problem at all. Uh, you notice, because we chose that International Mars mission, uh, the ship itself comes with a lot of food, uh, 10 for each person. If you don't choose that one, it only comes with one for each person, so you have to get farms set up much, much quicker. For now, we don't have to worry about them too much, so what we are going to do is just place a grocer down here. But I think if I was playing with less food, I'd probably make this here and this here a farm. A hydroponics farm or if you've got it available uh, the uh, the other farm depending on your research along here um, here we've got fungi uh, which is a fungal farm makes mushrooms and that actually sits outside of the dome uh, which is quite neat as well so you could get that one going in fact we might as well start that one researching okay our dome is all set liberty number one is ready to land we're going to place it over here um, so that they oh that's a bit uneven there so basically they're going to land and, and run straight in uh, through this door here, which is pretty good. And then Liberty will sit there and it'll charge up ready for later on. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take Liberty too long to come down. Come on, come on, come on. Here it comes. Research complete. Oh cool, we found an anomaly. We've got thousands, that's good. And with that we should... There we go, we got a nice little boot, uh, little bit of lore there. And you'll see... Oh, look at them go. Running in. They'll come diving in, and once they get in here, they'll change. And they wear various different outfits depending on their jobs. I'm guessing that guy's a medic. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, he's security. Okay, cool. Uh, so we're going to pause it for one second, have a quick look at these before we uh, we finish up. Okay, so we're going to get rid of all of these apart from founder stage. That's quite an important one. Okay, so first of all, you'll see here that um, they'll show you the specialization they've got, if they've got one, uh, and they'll show you what they do. And their traits. So this guy, uh, this girl even, sorry, Ahana, uh, has no specialization, but she works in the water reclamation system, which I don't think matters, although maybe an engineer might work better there. Uh, they're a nerd, a founder, and a gamer. So they would quite like, eventually, um, an electronic store. This one here, uh, a geologist specialization. They work in the infirmary. It's not ideal, but we'll, we'll let it go. Uh, this scientist here works in the security station. Uh, water reclamation system. I'm going to try and find somebody who actually fits where they work. Officer working in the security station. There we go. So they will actually uh, work really well uh, where they do because they, their specialization fits the place they work in. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we have any doctors. So you want to hope you don't get ill, basically, with this first set of people. But what they'll do is they'll automatically go and find jobs. You can you can micromanage it and find their, themselves. But what they'll do is they'll fill in uh, roles as best they can. Most buildings, I think all actually, have three shifts. Uh, sort of an early daytime one, uh, an evening one, and a night one. Uh, you can turn them on and off as you see fit. Here, then, the water reclamation system will constantly run. So there's somebody always working here uh, all the time. And then the infirmary closes at night. If you can afford to and you can manage, close things at night because people don't really like working at night, okay? Um, and then uh, and that's good. So what we can do here is the grocers, if we wanted to, we can close it the second shift. If we click that, it'll close it. We won't, though. We'll leave it open um, and, let them, uh, and let them work. That's no problem at all. Uh, but again, all this can be very micromanaged. Just take a look at it, see what you want to do. You can, uh, you can adjust the uh, overtime, you can adjust whether or not they're open, how many people, you can close that off if you want so it never fills up. Lots of different options you can do. One thing you want to make sure is that their consumption is always covered. Okay, so let's just quickly have a look at the grid. Um, the power grid, we're producing 55 and we're using 37, that's no problem. Water grid, um, we are pretty much making what we're using but we have loads stored up so that's no problem. And uh, oxygen wise, we're creating loads and we're not using that much at all. So overall, uh, we're doing well and they will quite happily sit and live out their days as best they can here on Mars. Which is a good thing 
Uh, these guys are going to start shipping some food out now. Uh, because when you first get people to land on Mars, you enter the founder stage. Now, if anyone dies within the first 10 days, you will not be able to bring any more people to Mars. It's basically game over. Okay, so for those first 10 days, you've got to keep them happy, you've got to keep them healthy. And uh, the only way that goes away is if one of them has a baby. Somebody has a baby and we get our first Martian born, then uh, you consider that you've won. Okay, uh, chances are you won't have a baby early on because the comfort level of the whole dome needs to be pretty high up. You'll see here that the comfort level of the dome is 50. I think it needs to be 70 for people to start getting jiggy with it and uh, and look about having kids. Okay, so for first off they won't have kids. It's not something you want to worry about straight away. You want to get them operational. You want to get them earning. You want to get them working. In the next tutorial that won't be coming out today, uh, the next tutorial we're going to look at starting to get secondary materials. So we've got underground metals here. We've got underground rare metals here. We can also look at building uh, machine parts and polymer factories and all that and look at how they work with humans thank you so much for watching i really hope you've enjoyed it if you have give us a like it really does help out the channel and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe for loads of surviving mars content i'm really into this game in the moment so i'm going to be playing it a lot on the channel uh, if you've got any thoughts comments or queries you can pop them down in the comments uh, down below and if you'd like a chat you can find me on twitter i'm at john t sparrow if you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.